Another coin that you can acquire through the process of mining is called Phantom Coin. Today on That Techo Guy, I'm going to be showing you what Phantom Coin is and how you can acquire it through the process of mining. Stay tuned. Okay, so Phantom Coin is another coin that you can now mine on your own and acquire yourself as well. You don't have to purchase the coin, but you can actually mine it. Now again, as I always like to say, this is not any financial advice. Mine the coin, don't mine the coin, purchase the coin, don't purchase the coin. It's all up to you. Very important that you do your own research. And that is what this video is all about to give you a bit more information about this coin and about the prospects of the coin as well. On my screen is the official website of Phantom Coin. So intro to Phantom. Phantom is a high performance, scalable and secure smart contract platform. It is designed to overcome the limitations of previous generation blockchain platforms. Phantom is permissionless, decentralized and open source. Lachesis, it's a revolutionary ABFT consensus mechanism allows Phantom to be much faster and cheaper than older technologies, yet extremely secure. So, Lachesis is the consensus algorithm for Phantom Coin. So, why Phantom? The birth of Bitcoin in 2009 represented a big step forward in technology and a further move towards a more efficient society. However, Bitcoin was not built to scale. And its consensus mechanism, the engine that powers the blockchain, is limited by design. So this is where Phantom comes in. Phantom tackles the problem at the core. Its high-speed consensus mechanism, Lachesis, allows digital assets to operate at unprecedented speed and delivers dramatic improvements over the current systems. So a few key features of Phantom Coin, if we go straight to the homepage, we can find that it's basically based around speed, security and scalability. So almost instant transfers, transactions on Phantom are finalized in a second and a cost a fraction of a cent. Simply secure, Phantom's validator nodes form a global trustless and leaderless proof of stake network. Highly scalable, Phantom can process thousands of transactions per second and scale to thousands of nodes. And it is also Ethereum compatible. Phantom is EVM compatible. Deploy and run your Ethereum dApps on Phantom. So this is quite interesting. If we check out the price for Phantom today, it is around one euro and 68 cents. And if we take a look at the charts, if we go to all, we can see that this coin actually basically started in 2018 on the exchanges at around a cost of one cent and it even dropped down to four mils at one point. I'm always talking euros here and now it is at 168. If we check out the chart for the last week, we can see that it's re remained relatively stable at the same price. And if we check out the price at the last month, it has dropped from two euros and 53 cents even more two euros and 63 cents on the 20th of january down to the price it is today one euro and 68 cents and just for reference today it is the 19th of february so how can you actually acquire this coin and how can you mine it in inverted commas as well and i am saying this in inverted commas because this coin is not actually a mineable coin as we've just seen it is a proof of stake coin but you can still acquire it now through the process of mining it with the help of good old unminable so unminable recently announced that phantom is now available for mining Payouts are available on the FTM, BSC and ETH chains and you can get started here. So you can either go to the coins section and look for Phantom or you can just select, uh, click on the news advert here and click on get started. So I'm just going to click on the coin here and that will take me straight to the section. Now, I don't know if you've seen my 7 GPU mining rig setup, but my 7 GPU mining rig setup is 
doing 472 mega hash on the ETH algorithm. If you haven't checked out the video for more details on my 7 GPU mining rig, do so in the link above or in the description below. So 472 mega hash on the ETH algorithm will give me approximately 8.5 phantom coins a day at the current price of the coin and at the current difficulty of the ET hash algorithm. So if we quickly take out the calculator and do 8.56 times the price of the coin today, which is 1.68 euros, that is going to give me roughly 14 euros and 38 cents a day before electricity costs. I'm burning around 1,500 watts for my seven GPU mining rig, and that equates to around five euro and 50 cents in electricity costs. So quickly, that's just going to give me eight euros and 88 cents. Let's call it an even nine euros of profit after deducting electricity costs. Now, how can you actually mine this coin? So you have to just do as usual, select from the tab at the top under the phantom coin section on our mineable, select which algorithm you're going to be mining on. It all depends on your hardware, okay? So if you've got a graphics card that's capable of mining the ET hash algorithm and has six gigabytes or more of video memory, then you can use ET hash. Go to that section. You can actually get started with Phoenix Miner, LOL Miner, MB Miner, T-Rex Miner. And obviously for your CPU, you would click on the random X section here and you would go to get started with MX rig. I will show you a quick demonstration of how you can do this. I'm going to take CPU as an example. So if I open up a previous script that I had for XM rig, if you're new to mining, by the way, and you haven't ever started mining yet, do check out all my other videos on my channel. And hopefully those will help you out in order to be able to get started with unminable and to get started with the several different tools like Phoenix Miner and XM Rig if you're mining on your CPU. And I've also got videos on how you can actually mine a bit faster with your CPU. So I'm gonna leave everything and all the links down in the description below. So be sure to check those out as well. So XM Rig, very easy. So before I was mining with this script, I was mining Dogecoin with my CPU. So I would just take the same script exactly. The global server address is exactly the same. So the address is rx.rminable.com colon 3333, which is the port. The algorithm minus A is rx because it's random X for your CPUs. Minus K keep, means keep alive. Minus U would be your wallet address and the coin that you're going to be mining. So this part we would need to change. Here it tells you to change it to FTM for the coin. So here I would simply change this to FTM and I would change my wallet address to whatever it is, okay, to whatever it should be. Okay, I'm just going to type in random characters here, but there you would paste in your wallet address for Phantom Coin, okay? Now, how are you going to get this wallet address? You're going to get your wallet address from an exchange and the exchanges that offer Phantom Coin are the following. So if we go further down on CoinMarketCap, you can find that this is offered on Binance, on KuCoin, and on FTX. So you can quickly open an account, for example, with Binance. I personally use Binance myself, and you'll be able to get your wallet address once you've opened up an account with Binance, and you go to the Phantom Coin wallet and click on receive or deposit in order to deposit phantom coin funds and that will display your wallet address and then you can put that into the script so back to unminable and to the script after you've entered your wallet address you would put dot and you would put a worker name the worker name can be anything mine i've set it to techo guy in this case it will be phantom just so i know which coin i am mining so phantom underscore cpu and hashtag and a referral code if you have one. If you don't have a referral code and you want to reduce your mining fee on Unminable from 1% to 0.75%, then you can use my referral code, which you can see on the screen right now. And I will leave that down in the description of this video as well. So you can use that to drop your fee down. And that's pretty much it. You save the file, you run it, and it will start mining.
with, in this case, XM rig. For Phoenix Miner, if you're mining on your GPUs or T-Rex Miner, it is the same principle. So I believe I do have a script here, which I'm going to open now for T-Rex Miner. And on T-Rex here, I was mining on the CowPow algorithm. For example, my I had a video card that did not have six gigabytes or more of video memory. So I was using the CowPow algorithm, exactly the same concept. Everything remains the same, except for the, obviously the coin type, which has to be FTM. And then you have to change your wallet address here as well. Same concept, do a worker name just to identify what you are mining, which coin you are mining, and if you're using a GPU or CPU, etc. I just like to put those names in like that. And hashtag a referral code, which you can use mine, which is down below if you wish. Dash P is X, that is password, which is pretty much default, it's blank, okay? And you just run that, and it's as easy as that. So, I just wanted to let you all know that now you are able to mine Phantom Coin with Unminable, and this seems like a very promising project indeed. Do check it out, do your own research, and let me know what you think of this coin. Just one last thing before I go, on CoinMarketCap, the coin is at rank number 32, which is quite good, and we can see that the coin has a market cap of 4.2 billion euros. So that is quite large indeed. And rank 32 is quite high up on the charts by coin market cap standards as well. So this may have potential in the future, who knows? People here to seem to think so as well when they're commenting and they're saying that it might be bullish in the long term, but in the shorter term, it might be a bit bearish, but who knows? I mean, the, with these things, we can never really know 100% for sure, okay? So do your own due diligence on these things. Make sure to trade with caution if that's what you're doing. And obviously, if you're mining, obviously, try to get the best knowledge that you can in order to make some educated choices before you actually delve into mining, especially if you're going to start and you're going to purchase hardware, which is not very cheap at the moment, and there is still the global chip shortage going on, so it's not very easy to find hardware to purchase anyway, and it's not going to be cheap by any means either. I do thank you all for watching and for staying tuned to all of my videos. This is a great community. Let's keep that momentum going and let's continue to learn and grow together. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so down below and smash that like button, hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos do come out on my channel. And until next time, take very good care of yourselves and thanks for watching.